Welcome to the film room. This video is going to give you a complete list of the finishes that you need to know and understand how to do. This is a place that you can come back to on a regular basis to continue to get better at finishing. Let's get into it. From the beginning, players are taught how to do a traditional layup. It's important to understand this is not the right way to do a layup. It's just a way to do a layup. Going off of your right foot with your left hand or vice versa is the most basic way to do a layup, but thinking this is the only way to finish can actually hinder your ability to score as you continue to develop. So here are some of the options that you have out of your traditional layup. Using the same footwork, you need to be able to finish the ball higher off of the glass. The option that we have out of the traditional layup is what's called a one-hand pickup. You're typically taught to pick the ball up with two hands and then release it with your outside hand. Well, you're going to see in this clip that that's not always available. You can see here that the defender has actually grabbed this player's right arm, and if 24 only knew how to do a traditional pick up with two, release with one, he wouldn't have been able to make this shot. Having the ability to do a one hand pickup creates more options for you to score. And now I'm going to take down the myth that you have to jump off the opposite foot that you finish with. Having the ability to finish with either hand and jump off of either foot is necessary. You'll see here that the ball handler goes up on his left foot and finishes with his left hand. This is skill. And to prove this, I want you to watch this finish right here. All three things that we've talked about. Kolik is going to go off of his left foot, left hand. He is going to do a non-traditional one hand pickup and he's going to finish it high off of the window. Another myth is that to avoid getting your shot blocked, you need to finish it with your outside hand, when in reality, finishing it with your inside hand often makes it harder for the defender to block your shot. So we need to be able to drive and jump off of our outside foot and finish with our inside hand. And one of the reasons this is so necessary is that there will be times where you would have to take multiple extra steps to get your footing right to finish it. We need to be able to finish with either hand off either foot at any time. And we need to be able to place the ball where we need to. Here's an inside hand finish high off the window. And one of the components of an inside hand finish is going across the rim to use it as protection. You can see from this angle that his right hand becomes his inside hand as he crosses over to the left side of the basket. Having this finish can be beneficial on cutting, as you'll see here, but it also works as you're driving and your momentum just takes you across the rim and it's easier to finish on the other side. And this is where I will remind you that a traditional reverse layup, which is going off of your right foot and finishing with your left hand, is an option, but it's not the only option that you need to have. Here, the ball handler is going to drive and he jumps off of his left foot and uses his left hand to cradle and finish the reverse. Having this cradle or up and under or double pump is important for your reverse because shot blockers like to try and block the shot on the strong side. As you're working on these reverses, understand you have options and it's important to practice as many as you can. Here you have the traditional left foot, right hand reverse, but there will be situations where you'll need to go off of two feet and use your low hand or your baseline hand. So as you're training or putting people through skill work, always make sure you're mixing up finishes, both your feet and your hands. The next area to cover is our two foot finishes. This is where your power and your controlled finishes come from. Being able to drive, land on two feet, and go up and finish is going to be necessary and important for different situations. And one of those situations is contact finishes. When there's a defender trying to block your shot or contest it, being able to go off two feet through the contact while protecting the ball away from your defender is a key finish that you'll need, especially as you get into the college level. Another benefit of going off of two feet is it allows you to shot fake. The shot fake is critical, especially because you're going to have defenders trying to block your shot. One of the key elements of this shot fake is you need to show the ball as if you're trying to lift it towards the basket and if you use your eyes, it will help even more. Villanova has made a name for themselves, being known as the team that plays off two feet better than anyone else in the country. In these next few clips, you'll see there's several different things that you can do after using a shot fake, but at the end of the day, landing on two feet allows you the opportunity to use these fakes and your pivots to find creative angles to score.
Another important move that you can do off of two feet is the spin move. This move is great when you have a defender who's quicker than you that cuts you off or when help defense comes over to stop you. Your footwork going to the right is you will push off of your right foot with your left foot planted and as you spin then you will gather right, left, and leave off of two feet. And if you're going to your left hand, you will spin off of your right foot and then gather left right. And now for one of the most popular finishes in basketball right now, the Euro step. Whichever side you gather the ball on, you are going to want to plant that foot and try and move laterally that direction. And then you're going to swing the ball to the other side. You're going to plant on that foot, which will be your takeoff foot, and then you finish from there. This is a lateral movement that should be happening. You'll notice here he gathers on the left, he plants off of that left, swings the ball over to the right as he plants on his right, and then he goes up and finishes. It's really important that there is lateral movement on this finish. There are people that argue this is a travel, but if you look at the footwork, it is no different than a traditional layup. There's just lateral movement. And our last finish that we will cover is the floater. When you shoot a floater, it is just like a normal traditional layup. You're just floating the ball up in the air. So here is a traditional takeoff of a left foot right hand floater. And now you will see the same thing, but it will be a right foot left hand floater. It looks and is just like a traditional layup. You're just floating the ball over a defender rather than laying it up at the backboard. And just like with layups, traditional does not mean correct. You need to have multiple finishes. Here you'll see the offensive player jumps off his left foot and shoots the floater with his left hand. We also need to be able to do this off of two feet. When it comes to a two foot floater, you can shoot it with either hand. Here the offensive player shoots it with his left hand. Then you'll see a right-handed drive where the player comes to two feet, there's help defense, and he shoots the floater with his right hand. The nice thing about floaters, and especially two-foot floaters, is that there are so many angles that you can shoot these from all over the court as soon as you get to paint coming from any direction. Having the ability to finish around the basket is one of the most important skills in basketball. I encourage you to use this video as your library. Come back to it, watch these videos over and over, and practice these finishes. You can never be too good at finishing around the basket, and this video will prepare you for any situation you face. Thanks for coming through. We'll see you next time in the film room.